Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Meghan Markle's mom, Miss Doria Raglan, being seen with Kim and Chris. And I know that this photograph definitely have a lot of people concerned because if you guys remember and if you have been following my channel kim kardashian has been um signed to ari emmanuel's talent agency so to megan marco and do you guys remember when i said to you that it was within kim's intention to rebrand herself because she wanted to give herself that um sophia richie like megan markle like a aesthetics well we didn't see that aesthetic coming out but what we saw is where you know normally kim would run off with a pete davidson we're not seeing that you know anymore if she's with someone which we believe she is keeping that on a very low profile but when this photograph circulated a lot of you guys reached out to me and you had asked for my opinion on this no i must say that i believe that something is in the making as it relates to kim and chris teaming up with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And I don't believe it's a good idea for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's image. And I hope that it doesn't happen because Kim is dubbed as a dirty A-list celebrity. It is okay for Miss Doria to take a photograph with Kim and Chris. We're going to talk about Kim's new look as well because honey... That new look is given Kim from Cheyenne, or some would say Shein. I don't know what is the heck going on with Kim, but anywhere she goes, she has to pick up something from someone, you know? And it's given that the sense that, you know, even though it's okay to always reinvent yourself, like, how far are you willing to go? What are your boundaries? Does Kim even have any boundaries, right? We're going to talk about that. But let's talk about Miss Doria, um, Kris Jenner, and Kim. No, I see absolutely nothing wrong with a photograph because it is just a photograph. And if you have been observing Miss Doria's mannerism, it is very pleasant. And she gives the sense that she's the one who is very much protective of her daughter if my daughter asks me not to say anything, I'm not going to say anything. And even without Meghan Markle, it seems as though Miss Doria is this reserved, pleasant human being. Also, I believe that Meghan should have been at this event, could not be there, or I didn't want to be there for whatever reason, because it's a, um, it's a fifth anniversary story in... Los Angeles. It's a humanitarian um, event. We know that with Meghan Markle, she has done a lot of humanitarian work across the world, long before the royal family, even though they want to make it seems like, oh my God, she has all these accolades because of the royal family. That's not the case. She had those accolades long before the royal family. She has been getting awards as humanitarian long before the royal family but it's just that with the royal family if you don't bend if you don't kneel then you are the black sheep and they have been going after her reputation and image right so even with that being considered i believe that Meghan markle and prince harry needs to be very careful of their image when it comes to Kim and Chris. Kim and Chris, they are business women, right? But what makes Kim and Chris image so horrible is the mere fact that over a decade, maybe more, Kim and Chris has been caught in numerous unpleasantries. Their name has been associated with so many allegations of theft, 
fraud. They have been caught in so many lies. And not just that, Kim and Chris, you know, promotes unrealistic beauty standards onto women and young girls, while Meghan Markle is beauty. I can wear a tall dress. I know how to cover it up, look classy, look cute. Meghan Markle promotes lady image, lady mannerism. Kim promotes trashy, you know, slutty, and the rest of the Kendrick Jenner's does promote that type of image. So, even though they are assigned to both talent agencies, you know, and it's just a photograph we're seeing now, I'm wondering if they are slowly, you know, collaborating, like about to collaborate. So they're slowly introducing Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Kris Jenner, and Kim K in a collaboration. Because a couple weeks ago, I saw an article that said Prince Harry has to try the Kim Kardashian method. And, I'm, and I was like, what the heck that is about? Trying what kind of Kim, Kim K method when it comes to legal battles. That's not a good thing. And then we heard that um, Meghan Markle is planning on coming back to Instagram and she will be paid $1 million per, per post. And I'm saying a million dollars per post for Meghan Markle because even though, you know, on their website, she no longer has the Duchess, but she still is because Prince Harry is still Prince Harry. He's Prince Harry because of his DNA. He did not just earn that title. It is in his DNA, right? Unless all the members of the royal family are no longer royals. That's the only way they can take away Prince from Harry, right? Common sense. So I'm saying, you know, a million dollars for each post coming from Meghan Markle. I think she's worth more than that. But could she be teaming up with Kim to say Meghan Markle and Kim is having this brand, two different women from two different worlds, you know, come together to form one big giant. It's not going to be a good look for Meghan Markle. And it's going to give the royal family even more leverage to tarnish her reputation and her character. But for now, I have to say there's nothing wrong with a photograph, but it's really given side eye. Is something about to go on? Is there about to be a collaborative effort? We're going to have to wait and see what happens as to where that is concerned. Now, let's talk about Kimmy Cake's new look because... People on the internet, they are already trolling Kim Kardashian for the bang, okay? She went to the event. She was giving Black Widow vibes. That's it. Like, Kim's look, it is clean. It is beautifully executed. But when you look at the foot, when you look at the shoe, it's too much black. And that black and gold jewelry and that bang, it's given a... Asian woman who is mourning the loss of her husband and she has to wear black for six months. She has to wear long sleeve, ensure that she's covered up down to the ankles. Kim is not giving, you know, a divorcee who wants to get back out there who is still hot and sexy. No, but actually, this time around, I have to say, she's giving close to that billionaire look, right? She's not giving cheap content creator vibe, minus the hair, minus the hair, okay? Because that hair, it ain't hairy, honey. I don't know what is going on. Kim has this obsession with beauty to the point where she doesn't limit herself and say, this is not for me, because you can tell that. You know, her visit to Tokyo, she has been influenced by the um, Japanese culture and beauty, those beautiful, you know, women over there. And she wanted to tap into a piece of that. So she came back with the bangs. Chances are it could Kim be also, 
you know, teasing that she's about to go short because Bianca is sporting a low cut and Kim has been photoshopping her face to look like Bianca. You guys can see the photos that I've shared in my next video and you can clearly see that it was Photoshop. I don't think she had any intentions of hiding the fact that she did a Photoshop on that photo. She basically gave herself that Bianca aesthetics. So it seems as though she's trying out different things to see how the short pixie cut will look on her. But honestly, I believe that Kim really needs to find herself because something is going on with her. And I don't think that, you know, Kim meant for any of this to be funny. <laughs> but it is funny because it's given Kim from Cheyenne. It's not given Kim Kardashian. You're wondering, like, where is Kim Kardashian? You're watching this woman practically losing herself instead of her stepping into that maturity and stepping into it boldly and unapologetically it's as though she's going backward when she should be going forward you know we expect more from kim even if it's not good we expect bold risk and it's not giving bold risk it's giving bold copy let's copy the woman in japan let's start off with the bang and let's see where else I can go with this. You know, while it's given a sense that she's playing around with different looks, she's like playing it too safe. And because she's playing it so safe, it is not beautifully executed. I don't like how it makes the makeup is good, but I don't really like how it makes her face look. And the bank is, the bang is just definitely not doing it for her. And I don't know if Kim have any real friends at this point. It seems as though her friends are there just nodding, saying yes to whatever she does just to make her happy. And your friends are supposed to hit you where it hurts so that in public, no one hits you where it hurts. You get all of that tough love behind the scenes. So when you come to the forefront, you come and you give it real good and have the crowd rooting for you and say yay i love that look now everyone is gonna always love the look because no matter what people will always be hating but once you're able to have that fair balance of people saying and i'm not talking about those people on your page because she has over a million butts on her page following her maybe more right so i'm talking about like general audience saying yes she's doing well or i love that look she needs to step out of this mourning face like what the heck are you mourning woman with all this black if it's not black leather we saw kim wearing that black leather from last year what december and she switched it up a couple weeks ago seems as though she's watching us when we said that she has been wearing leather since December, she switched it up a bit. But come on, you, you, you need to switch it up real good and you need to start serving real good. You've worked with so many designers. You've worked with so many artists you were with. Yeah, come on, Kim. Let that fire in you ignite, girl, and you come out and you give it real good. The only thing you know is to spread your legs when you're in a bikini on Instagram. And you should be closing that leg and you should be giving grown woman, grown vibes pose. Have you seen Selma Ayak, honey? She's not opening her legs, you know, but she's giving good and sexy. And she's wearing two-piece like you, Kimmy. I mean, why not lurk on Selma's page and take a pay, um, Instagram page? Take something out of her book because she ain't doing much. But when she does it, listen, she has the crowd going wild. Kim, you're still giving to, you know, cheap, honestly. You're giving too cheap, honey, and it's time for you to step it up. It's really not a good look. When you're not copying, yeah, you're copying Bianca, uh, you're copying Cheney. I don't know who from Japan you copied this time around, but 
I can tell it was copied. But hey, enough of my blobbing. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And see you all later. Bye, guys.